Yeah, it could a... not have been possible without speed actually to be honest going through the mcqs at speed offers i think one can easily clear the return part so i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute thank dr. you sir pooja sir. santosh yes sir. all scoring rank number 9 in aml and cml rank yes, number 14 uh, in yes, specialty of dm neuroanesthesia in any ss november 2023 congratulations and best wishes to you thank you sir thank you so much sir doctor can we know a brief background of yours from where you started till date uh yes sir so uh so do, should i also tell about my mbps uh yes okay so uh i'm basically uh, dr pooja santosh uh, i did my mbps from kasturba medical college mangalore uh and uh, i later did my dnb in neuro i mean sorry in dnb in anesthesia from artemis hospital gurgaon i just completed my uh, dnb actually in the month of september so uh, i just given uh, in ess and neat ss i was not really sure how i would do uh, thankfully uh, i cleared both the entrances uh, neat i got only 214 rank but i was allotted neuro anesthesia again dnb and uh, somehow i cleared the nesss with a good enough rank that i'll get a dm seat sir. so you have been upgraded from uh, dnb to dm yes sir. <laughs> yes sir. yes sir. very very good news and great news and great accomplishment thank you sir thank you so much sir and it could a... not have been possible without speed actually to be honest especially the interview the uh, ma'am had actually uh, kind of the questions that ma'am had asked to uh, and i was lucky enough that i was asked the same question during my interview session uh, so it was easier for me to articulate and uh, give the answer yes sir so every aspect of uh, the preparation is important yes sir it is sir it is uh, and the thing is uh, i had uh, earlier watched the few uh, videos of uh, other toppers in the nesss especially whoever clear neuro anesthesia and one of them had told that it was uh, better to read cotel and uh, young so i used to read that book uh, that kind of helped me uh, even though it was only for 3 weeks i uh, read it because i was uh, not really sure if i was giving uh, nesss and uh, then later on the day before my uh, interview because of the uh, mock interview that ma'am had uh, done and the questions she asked that helped me realize i need to get a basic background about the neuroanesthesia topic so that i read the entire miller neuroanesthesia part before my interview so that really helped me sir great wonderful doctor can we yes, can we know your methodology of preparation what all you did uh, for so sir i actually to be honest i was not really preparing for the uh, nesss or neat ss for that matter all i did was i uh, prepared for my dnb properly so i would read articles and i would read from the other books miller tables and uh, uh, stalting uh, book so all this i'll make notes and i used to revise them and ever ever since i cleared my uh, theory part in dnb i used to uh, uh, in between speed mcqs also it was uh, more or less like okay i'll get extra somehow help me during my practical that was the hope and after my practical uh, there was like two weeks for the neat uh, ss so that time i did a few mcqs again uh, i was more or less worried about the negative marking because i used to do a lot of negative uh, that's again why i lost a lot of uh, rank in the neat ss so that was something i kept in mind for any ss i only marked the ones i was very sure about that has probably helped me i feel and uh, from what i understood while going through the nesss questions were it was just very basic neuro related neuro anesthesia related topics and except for here and there few questions but uh, going through the mcqs at speed offers i think one can easily clear the return part at least get 50% and then as far as the interview is concerned yes it does uh, matter on how we are able to articulate the answer and you know present it but uh, reading the basic books and at least yeah miller really helped me the day before the exam i read the whole miller uh, neuro anesthesia part only but uh, that was uh, i mean when sir asked me the question it was easier for me to explain the uh, points in points wise basically with the exact words that i think they were looking for okay great doctor now uh, can you know I mean how many hours you used to put for this preparation how you able to manage this preparation along with your work schedule 
so sir the thing is i was lucky enough uh, in uh, to be posted in ot's where uh, most of the cases were under spinal anesthesia and i would carry my uh, tablet with me and uh, since the patient was under spinal anesthesia and most of the patients were uh, stable i would uh, read a little bit of the neuro anesthesia while in the ot itself and i would make notes so my phone would have the book and my i would make the notes in the tablet so uh, this helped me a lot and then going through the mcqs i would uh, i used to make a lot of mistakes like i said so that also i would jot down and uh, then i would explain a lot of this to my juniors like uh, i was like let me just teach you neuro anesthesia for the time being <laughs> yeah. so this all kind of helped me uh, i did not exactly put like proper preparation everything i did was only for this 3 weeks uh, after like i uh, applied for the nesss very good doctor so very able okay. to go through all the videos in the speed learning app for the neuro anesthesia uh, actually sir i went through the neuro anesthesia topics and uh, the what i did was i watched it at uh, almost uh, 1.5 times the speed uh, because the basics it was i already kind of had an idea because i just given my dnb exam so uh, while going through the uh, what ma'am hands or had to explain it was easier for me to grasp the important points and again like i said i would jot down those important points in a book me can i uh, note okay this is important like isoflurane is more important uh, in uh, neuro anesthesia is more preferable compared to the other inhalational agents so this the thing is i had already written it elsewhere in a note but when mam had said it and i wrote it down it kind of came back to me yeah this is an important point so all this uh, kind of again helped me sir i did go through the neuro anesthesia uh, videos that were there in the uh, app yes sir fantastic doctor in the 80 questions what what yes. were the proportion of questions for uh, neuro anesthesia as a superficiality and for general anesthesia from the federal branch of anesthesia uh, so majority were obviously from the neuro anesthesia branch but again of which i felt totally say uh, if they're like uh, 70 questions for neuro anesthesia then of which uh, 20 were probably of the difficult so 20% was difficult uh, like you really needed in depth you know, knowledge of the uh, subject like if you are doing an assessment for something in neuro it would have been easier but the rest if you know the basic neuro anesthesia that you're studying for your exams it would be easier to clear that is what i felt sir okay. and general anesthesia is the basic which again is the same for the neat ss as well as the nes ss what is the number of questions approximately you feel the general anesthesia would have been asked so i am not really sure but i don't think it's very high i felt there were more of neuro questions and okay. in fact to be honest i liked a few of the questions that uh, i came back and i asked my seniors also and they were a little confused what the answer was uh yeah so that is pretty okay. interesting yes okay. sir now what is the message that you want to give to the uh, students who are aspiring for dm neuro anesthesia so i uh, to be honest i did not give much of preparation but i feel if i'd given a little more preparation i would have gotten a better rank but uh, take it chill uh, like not uh, stress a lot and uh, try to avoid as many negatives as possible if you're not sure <clears throat> don't answer it you need to just get 50% to qualify the exam and then for the interview part just read the uh, uh, if possible quarterly is very good if not if you don't have the time for it at least read miller anesthesia uh, the neuro anesthesia part uh, both the uh, anesthetic considerations for specific surgeries as well as the neuro critical part and then when you appear for the uh, interview just uh, explain it in a easier and simple way with certain specific terms that are very critical to the subject so that is what they are looking for this the interview was only 5 minutes so they do not we do not have enough time to explain a lot so in that 5 minutes you're supposed to say whatever you can uh, the better the words the better the terms easier for them to give you marks okay. it's not very difficult to uh, clear uh, in is what i felt sir great now can you um, uh, this is the time for you to thank whom all you want to thank who helped you and supported you so far and till date I mean, you can. So obviously... I would obviously start with my parents. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't have been here without them. And uh, my professors, uh, obviously, in my department, and uh, the uh, speed neuro anesthesia faculty. They, uh, I mean, I listen to the whole uh, seven videos, and that's when I uh, before going for the exam. So that kind of helped me a lot. And uh, so your videos where you interacted with the previous. Uh, 
Toppers. people who appeared yes sir the toppers so that uh, kind of helped me gain okay what has to be done to get a decent enough rank so all this kind of helped me sir very and good. of course god god yeah obviously yes sir. very very good doctor once again we bring in all the wishes yeah, yeah. in uh, dm so uranasisia and thank all you, the best sir. and all the success in years to come thank you sir thank, thank you so much.